now we're gonna get the, that sensor out and put a good old N20 sensor in there which is a 3.5 bar so first off we're uh, gonna have to I'm gonna have to get all these wires out and basically just swap them all uh, Burger Tuning sells a sells a uh, kit not kit but a wiring harness where it, it's just plug and play which is um, 30 something dollars I think where if you do this it's literally free and it you don't have to worry about an extra wiring harness thingy so um, yeah let me put you guys down somewhere and I'll show you how to do it for free the end the, the sensor is not gonna be free all right so what you want to do is grab a flathead uh, screwdriver and uh, on the side of the on the side of the actual connector itself you can uh, you can see where that like metal the the female end of the wires are going into so what you want to do is you want to stick the flathead in there and just kind of pry that out so it'll just pry out the uh, so we're basically just taking out the casing I might need a smaller might need a smaller flathead here yeah Let's try to make this work. There we go. So it'll just pop out. And the connector, I mean this top piece, using your nails, just kind of bend it up. Also, kind of be careful with all this because it, it is brittle plastic. So they could just come out. Uh, if yours bends, that's good. Mine, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna break out. So I'm just gonna try to get uh, try to get the my Allen wrench. Where did I put it? Here it is. Let's try to get this in here. You won't see it, but it's the same as the same same thing as the motive installing thing. You just press this and pull pull it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep them. I'm gonna try to keep them in in the same order so that I don't forget which one goes where but we're basically taking these come on Okay, so now you have this connector piece and all these these four wires here. This is how the is how the stock one goes. It goes yellow and then the blue and the yellow one. And then the 
the yellow and red one and then the black and yellow one so now what we're, we want to do is want to do black black and yellow and then uh, the red and the red and yellow and then the blue and the blue and yellow and then the solid yellow color so we're just we're just swapping all all four connectors don't know why BMW decided to swap them but oh well so here goes number one and then I completely forgot it was this one and then the blue and yellow one Like that, and then the solid yellow right in there. You want to hear a click at the end of each uh, when you when you put them in. They should just click in place. Okay, so here's the new 3.5 bar uh, T-map sensor from FCP Euro that I bought. Um, you, if you have an N20 or like you know a dead N20 because those engines are not not very reliable anyways um, you can just grab those out of those engines too but we want to remove the two screws now that hold the the OEM T-map sensor in there's that And the OEM one just pops right out. There we go. Just pop right in. I just pulled it out a little bit to make sure the O ring was still in that spot, but it is. It's good. It was just a, it was just a little tight. So now you just put the screws back on, plug it in, and we're done. This way, I do like this. Should probably pop that back in first. There we go. Okay. Now it should go in. No. This way. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll just do that. There's no actual like clip thing that holds it in. So, I mean, it's on there pretty good. That my my top mass mass airflow sensor is. Uh, I broke that off too. Anyway, so yeah. All right, so um, now that we have the N20 sensor installed, you want to go into MHD. I, I don't know if it'll work with the, um, I don't know if it'll work with without tuning it, but when you do tune it, uh, you want to go into whichever map you're doing, and then you go into options, and then just check the, uh, go into T-map sensor and put 3.5. 3.5 bar sensor and it should work just fine just flash it i already have everything flashed so i'm good but yeah guys that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching please subscribe i'll see you in the next video